everyone and welcome to my uh, a bit late February wrap up. This month I actually read 15 books and I'm really proud of that. Even for me that's a really high number but um, it's only because I read a couple of books that were pretty thin but even so this is probably going to be a bit of a long video. I'll try to keep it as short as I can and I hope you enjoy. These are all of the books that I read the quite a lot um, so I'm gonna put them down again so in quite random order this is what I read this month I finally got around to reading part two and part three of uh, the Raven Boy series and I have to say I absolutely love them I decided not to read uh, the first book not to reread it I mean um, I just looked up what happened and reread the ending and then I remembered everything again uh, luckily so I read the second book and I absolutely loved it. Uh, it was a bit dark at first, at the beginning, um, but I really liked it and I really liked this book as well. Uh, the only thing that really gutted me is that I was under the impression that this was the last book. Um, just my fault, I just assumed that there were three books in a series and there's going to be another one and I'm really really happy about that but I'm also gutted because it doesn't come out till September I think and I really want to know what happens next anyway if you have read anything from Maxi Fata you'll know that it's good because all our books are amazing but I definitely recommend these if you like fancy and history as well because it's a little bit historic because they're looking for a historic figure and especially if you like fancy in a normal uh, setting uh, could basically happen here on earth right now um i really recommend this series i also got around to reading a dutch book it's called boy seven which doesn't sound very dutch because it isn't uh, it's by miriam maus of moos miriam moos i think i'm not quite sure um but anyway this is the movie cover because there's a movie about this book that i think came out uh, really recently or is about to come out and it looked interesting the trailer so I thought I'd give it a shot and try this book because it's a book uh, for young adult it's a little bit tiny tiny bit uh, like Maze Runner in that he uh, wakes up has no idea uh, where he is or who he is or what happened and he tries to find his memories all he knows is uh, that he left a voicemail on his mobile phone in his own Voice, so he recognizes his voice at least um, saying don't call the cops and um, I'm not a big fan of Dutch books I like the Dutch children's books that I used to read when I was a kid um, there are some authors that I really like like Thea Beckman who is amazing uh, but for a Dutch book I thought this was really well written uh, usually uh, the language really annoys me for some reason um, it's usually a bit archaic and they say things in a way that you wouldn't say it in real life but this one's pretty close and um, if you're Dutch I really recommend it and if you're not Dutch hopefully it will be translated or maybe it's already is I'm not sure but anyway I liked it I also read the first Mallory Towers book. Uh, this is actually three books in one, so I'm still uh, officially reading it. But I read the first uh, in the series and I thought it was pretty fun. It was uh, especially interesting for me uh, because she wrote 600 books in uh, 40 years of writing. So that's quite a lot of books a year. And it was really interesting to me uh, to see what kind of books she wrote. And my mom used to be addicted to uh, a lot of the books that this writer wrote. And she had them all in Dutch. I think she still has them somewhere. But the Dutch was really old fashioned by now. So um, I didn't really like them that much as a kid. But I'm really uh, glad to read them now in English. And I thought it was just a fun book. It's about this girl who goes to Mallory Towers, which is a boarding school. And... It's all about how she uh, gets along there, how she wants to make friends and, you know, petty things, rivalry and stuff. Um, it is a kid's book. It's really a kid's book, you can tell. But it was a fun light read. So if you want that or if you want a book for a nephew or your kid sister or your kid, um, I recommend it. This here is the reason why I read so many books this month. For some reason, I just really felt like rereading the Wicca series. Um, I'm... At book 7 now so I have to read book 8 till 15 I'm probably gonna read that this month in uh, March or maybe next month it was really nostalgic reading these especially the first few books because my friends and I uh, found these in a little bookshop I think we read them in Dutch back then 
but they were really cheap and interesting and we got really interested in Wicca not uh, actually practicing it but just interested in the uh, ideas about it and want to know more about it and we were obsessed with this series um, so it brought back a lot of nice memories for me and I just really liked rereading them uh, with a new perspective because it's been a couple of years uh, basically it's about this girl um, who's ordinary she thinks she uh, she isn't that pretty she's not ugly either but she's nothing special uh, she's got brains though she's really smart and um, this boy comes to town called Cal and he is beautiful he's like drop dead gorgeous and he fits in with everyone uh, and he invites pretty much like all these kids from different groups um, to come to a party which turns out to be a celebration party because he practices Wicca and he asks them to do a circle with him and that's when um, Morgan the main character finds out that she has a real affinity for magic but she's also kind of torn because she's a catholic and her parents re are really really against magic but she uh, just loves Wicca because it's really about getting in touch with nature and with yourself and it's about being confident and it's about doing good things and she doesn't see the harm in it but it's a great series if you're interested in anything to do with Wicca or if you just like fancy books I really recommend these books another book that I finally got around to is uh, the Divergent 4 collection I really really like the Divergent books uh, I like some things less uh, if you've read them you probably know what I'm talking about in the last book um, but anyway, these are short stories about Four and about how he got to be um, a Dauntless and about his initiation and the changes that happened and also also parts from the book from his perspective, which I thought was really nice to see things from his perspective. Um, it's not like you're rereading the books again. It's not like it's completely like all these scenes from Divergent through his eyes. Uh, you get a lot of new information and a lot of insight on, uh, on 4. So if you're a Divergent fan, I really recommend this. I also read Geek Girl by Holly Small. This is one of the 12 books that I ordered. So it's the Enid Blythe stories, uh, the Mallory Tower series. And... Um, I'm slowly going to make my way through that pile of 12 books uh, but I really like this one I liked it uh, more than I expected to it's about this girl who's really geeky like um, she knows all these random facts and uh, she's more geeky in the sense of really smart and interested in knowledge than geeky in the sense of Star Wars and Spock and you know all that kind of stuff the way I'm geeky um, but anyway, uh, she's really funny and uh, she gets spotted to be a model. She decides to take this opportunity because she really wants to change herself. She's bullied a lot at school and she hopes that becoming a model will help her. And this book is all about how she copes with that, how she tries to change and how she learns a lot of things about herself and about the way she can change without having to change her appearance. And I really liked it and I can't wait to read part two. I also finally finished The Inklings. This is a book by Humphrey Carpenter. I read another book by him, um, which was about talking. And this book is about um, most of The Inklings, mostly uh, Lewis from Narnia, Tolkien from Lord of the Rings, and Williams. Charles Williams. I haven't read anything from him yet, but uh, it's, he also wrote some fancy books, so I'm probably going to look those up as well. It's really interesting to read. Some parts were a bit boring, especially the William parts, because I didn't really know him and so didn't really care that much about him. It was just one bit, actually, that was a bit boring, but I think it was only 20 pages or less. Um, but I kind of got stuck there, and a while ago I picked it up again and started reading it again. And I read it really fast and I thought it was really fascinating to see how they were friends and to learn more about Warney Lewis and all the others that um, were part of the Inklings and just how the d dynamic worked between them and how they wrote and all that kind of stuff. It's really interesting to read uh, if you like these authors and want to know more about them. I do recommend this book, although if you want to know more about Tolkien, for instance, I really recommend uh, this other book by Humphrey Carpenter. I'll see if I have it here. One moment. 
found it. It's this one. Uh, it's called J.R.R. Tolkien, A Biography by Humphrey Carpenter. And um, I really enjoyed this book. I read it uh, really fast. And you also learn a lot about Lewis because you can't really write about Tolkien without also writing about the Inklings. So you did learn a lot about the Inklings as well, but um, more focused on Tolkien, of course, because <laughs> it's about him. And I really like this book more than the Inklings, but if you are really interested, I recommend that you read both of them. The last book that I read this month is called All the Bright Places. And it's by Jennifer Niven. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this book. I um, knew it was about mental health and about depression and also suicide. It begins with this girl Violet and this boy Finch and they're both up on the bell tower of the school and they both kind of think about taking their lives but they're not really a hundred percent you know ready to do it and then Finch talks Violet off the ledge and Violet kind of talks Finch off the ledge and that's how they sort of become friends. Finch is really interested in Violet and so he kind of volunteers her to do a project with him um, in US history and they go exploring uh, their state together. I think it was Indianapolis? I'm not quite sure. I might be completely wrong. Anyway, it's a state and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're from the US and are offended, but they were somewhere in America and they started to explore um, their state together and form this friendship and you learn a lot about um, both of them because it's written uh, from both perspectives. So you have Violet and you have Finch and you learn a lot about what um, it's bothering them why they're depressed, why they feel the urge to die and everything that's bothering them but also the things that they love and the things uh, that makes them want to live and especially Finch uh, um, tries to help Violet see um, the beauty in life, all the beautiful things. So um, it's not a completely happy book obviously but it is a really lovely book in the way that um, they explore life and Violet gets more meaning in her life again and I think that the relationship between Violet and Finch is really interesting and beautiful and I really recommend this book to pretty much anyone actually. So I recommend that you pick it up. Those were all of the books that I read this month. Um, I probably won't be able to read as many books in March, but I can try. I do have more things planned this month than I had last month, so, so I had a lot of free time to read books. But anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Hopefully you saw some books that you want to read yourself. And if you have read any of these books, please let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you really like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more book videos from me then do please subscribe you make me very happy um thank you for watching and i'll see you soon doei